Hey students, this is Miss McClellan and I'm going to be your statistics teacher for this crazy year we're going to have in 2020-2021. Okay, so I want to kind of uh, guide you through hopefully what you're going to find um, that on the first day of school. Uh, and so if I uh, if you're here in person, then we'll get to go through these things in class. But if you are not here or you're a remote teacher, then I'll have that here uh, and kind of talk you through exactly what you're going to do. So first thing, hopefully you've gotten information from the district on how to get logged on to your Canvas account. Okay, that's the first very, very important thing. Now, if you've gotten logged into your Canvas account and you have your dashboard over here, then you're going to have your classes show up. All right. And so then if you're in my regular statistics class, which this year is second or third period, then you're going to see this right here. You're going to see your McClellan statistics and you're going to click on that course right there. When you do, it'll bring you to this home page. And um, then I'm going to kind of talk you through exactly how that's going to work and what I want you to do for the first day of school. All right. I'm going to get into the student view so you can uh, see exactly what it's going to look like on your end. All right. So I see that I need to, uh, my conference period changed. It's um, so I'll fix that here when we get off. But. My name is Miss McClellan, and there's my email. My conference period is uh, from 3:25 to 4:10, so I'll fix that here in a second. And um, so then here we have uh, modules, course information, or Launchpad. This gets you back into that navigating into Canvas. So this is strange because you're already in, you've already gotten into Canvas, um, but I guess if you want to go back to the Launchpad, you can click there. All right. Now, I also have a calendar and I'll show you about that later. Like, for example, you could click on each one of these days here in the calendar and it would link you to that lesson for me. OK, so I have that for you. But let's go through exactly what the district wants us to go through first. So I clicked on modules right there. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we have course information. And so in this course information, then you're going to see this is the hard copy of the syllabus rules and procedures for regular statistics. And then this is the hard copy for the supplies for regular statistics. And then here is how you sign up for the regular statistics remind. It's very important because through this uncertain times and uh, if we end up going in, you know, into quarantine or whatever, however this crazy year is going to work, I want to be able to get in touch with you and um, have that connection. So that's how you do that. Now, in Canvas, the way you navigate is you can go down here to the bottom and you click next and that will take you to the next item. And the next item that the district wants us to have is information about your teacher. And so we'll get to know each other throughout these, um, this year. But here's just a little bit of information, my teacher webpage, my email. You can read all of that stuff. You can see my family. My son um, graduated last year in 2020 and some of my pictures with my students. So you can read all of that. And then you hit next. OK. And so that takes us. <laughs> That's kind of a duplicate page. I forgot I was going to take that one out. So let's uh, move on. All right. So our first item that we have here is this, um, the syllabus rules procedures. And I do not want to go through all of that with you and read that. OK, your seniors in high school. Um, and so I'm just going to kind of point out the things that I want to make sure that you go through and read carefully. OK, so first of all, uh, and again, my conference is no longer sixth, but seventh. I'll fix that time here. Um, so first of all, 
we have kind of just in general what we do in statistics and the units that we're going to be having, okay? Now, then it gets into that we won't have a ton of homework in here, how the grading guidelines are, and these are district policies. And then this I want to point out, and I want to have you read this carefully. This reteach, redo, retesting section here has is all got some new components to it as far as the grade and the score at which you can reteach, redo, and retest as well as the formative assessment policy is definitely different than you've ever experienced before with the possibility to improve that grade significantly, okay? So we'll, when we're in person, we'll go over that, but I want you to also uh, read that. This is the main change that you wanna pay attention to. So read through that carefully. All right, makeup work, late, how the late work is, and so on. You'll read that. Next item you'll read through is your supplies. We will have supplies. Um, this is, of course, the hard copy. Okay, I want these due Monday, August 31st. So that gives you a week and a half to um, take care of this stuff. Now, these things here, not a big deal. Look, that's just your basic supplies. If you're going to be doing a hard copy of the packets, then you want to do that. Now, let's talk graphing calculator. Um, especially if we end up um, being home for an extended amount of time and doing online learning, then this is an issue, okay? So at some point, we're going to have to talk about that. Um, you know, it's best if you purchase your calculator, okay, and you have that. And so that's ideal. But I realize there's quite a bit of expense in that, okay? And so... You know, plus you may have been purchasing um, some technology to do this um, remote learning or, you know, uh, doing having the technology for this school year because it's quite a bit different. So I will also be providing you with, I can give you some um, guidance and I have to look into this a little further, but I will be giving you some guidance on the phone apps that you could use. Um, for your graphing calculator for home use, okay? So that would save you that from purchasing the full calculator. Now, you know when you're taking your ACT and your SAT and all that kind of stuff, you have to have that anyway. Plus, um, if you're going on to college, then you're probably going, you're going to need a calculator of your own as well. So that's something to think about. All right, we will do quite a few labs in this class. And we'll have supplies for that. And so down here, I've shown you um, the breakdown of how I came up with this $5 number for supplies. Okay. And um, stay tuned because I'm working with the um, district, the financial people in the, at the administration building, and we have this new process to have an online link so that you can pay your $5 fee online and it's not a cash changing hands and all of that kind of stuff. So stay tuned. I'll get you that link and I'll let you know how you can pay your $5 lab fee. All right. Plus, if you're in second or third period uh, statistics, then uh, if you wouldn't mind bringing some class supplies for that. Now, of course, antibacterial uh, hand sanitizers and stuff, the state's providing all of that this year. All right. Moving on. Now, so what I want to do now is talk to you about, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over here and click on modules. Your um, lessons are arranged in groups called of lessons called modules. So I made a module called the first day of school. Then it starts a module, which is your first unit of what all the stuff we're learning. Okay, but let's take a look at this. Here's the first day of school module. We've already done this statistics, the course information and the supplies. Now, let's talk about these three items here, okay? The document that you're completing in these three lines here is the same. The reason that there are three lines 
is because there are multiple ways to accomplish writing on documents or um, typing in documents and on PDFs and turning those documents in. So you, the goal of these three items here is for you to find the way that works for you and for you having a computer or Chromebook or a tablet um, based on the technology that you have, okay? So you only need to do really one of these three items, okay? Um, it's not due until Sunday night at 11.59, and that's because um, there's actually, you know, parents have to sign as well. This is acknowledging that you know the course expectations and the supplies, and then practicing writing on the PDF and uploading the document, okay? If you have a computer or Chromebook, you're going to do one of these two items here. I prefer if you have a Chromebook or a computer that you're going to do this one here that uses Kami, K-A-M-I. That's an extension and that you would add, you would download um, in your uh, Chrome Web Store. And I am going to put a, a video, this is an article, but I'm going to add a little um, five minute video of how to um, get Kami and how to use it to write on your documents. Okay? See, and then you would, once you do that, submit the assignment here. All right. The other way is if you have a tablet that you're going to write on, or worst case scenario, because the district really doesn't want you to just have your phone as your technological device. But worst case scenario, you um, writing things out on hard copies and scanning them with your phone, here's ways to do that. Furthermore, taking a picture and uploading it into Canvas can, there's a potential problem. The iPhones have a feature of making your images, your pictures that you take, high efficiency. And see, and this helps with memory on your, on your iPhone and, and your phone. So Canvas, however, will not read um, high, those high efficiency photos. So if you're uploading a photograph, it can be saved as a PDF or as a JPEG or a PNG, not this ending thing, this, uh, this subscript or afterscript called postscript.heic. That stands, that says that it was a photograph that was taken in the high efficiency mode. And Canvas will not read that. Okay, so I'm just bringing these kinds of little details to uh, that I know I had problems with students last year. I had to get them to resubmit things without that .heic. Here's how you would fix that. And then if you have an Android, here's how you would do it this way. Okay. All right. So in summary, your goal is to figure out how are you going to write on documents and submit them in Canvas. That's what these three lines right here are helping you figure out and practice. All right. Those are not due until Sunday night. This one right here is due Wednesday, August 19th by midnight. So the in order for us to count you present every day, you have to turn some, you have to log into Canvas and turn something in. Okay? During these first two and a half weeks for sure. We are instructed to have you turn something in in every class um, with through Canvas. All right. So you're going to click on this All About Me slide because I'm going to see you. I mean, we have limited time to get to know each other, especially if, you know, something happens and we end up having to go into remote learning. So what you're going to do is you're going to read the instructions. You're going to download this. Okay. And then, look, you're going to alter this. This will come up in your Google Drive. And then you're going to alter it 
You can change the theme. You can change all kinds of colors, whatever you want to do on this. But I instructed what I want you to do. For example, insert a picture of you here without your mask. I want to say you're going to have to take a picture and upload it to that to, onto your Google Drive and stuff. So see, this is another like all that figuring out technology stuff. Here, insert a picture of you with your mask. So I can see you with and without your mask right here. Okay. Then these other slides are other pictures so that I can get to know about you and um, what's going on in your life because I want to get in the, get to know you really quickly here. Let's see if we can um, develop that rapport in case we end up having to go into remote. Don't forget, of course, to put your name. Okay. And then once you complete this in your, G, your Google Drive, you file, download it as a PDF. And so that will download. And once you download that completed slide, then you can submit the assignment by uploading it right here. And I set it so that it has to be the format PDF, okay? All right, so lots of stuff for the first day for you to go over, um, you know, so let's make sure that, um, let's see here, it's asking me, do I want to leave that site? Yes, I do. So let's make sure that you are reading through those items. The, this can be saved for you and your parents to and make sure we can submit things digitally. But this one has to be done on Wednesday, August 19th, the About Me slide. Okay, good luck to you. I'm here to help you navigate uh, all of this technology stuff here so we can get used to this whole process and learn how to use Canvas. All right, good luck to you, and um, I look forward to seeing you in class.